All right. Good morning, uh, everyone. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see everybody this morning. My name is Henry Simons. I'm the assistant city manager of operations, of course, for the city of Columbia. And of course, we would like to welcome you and thank everyone for your presence uh, on today uh, as we gather for our ribbon cutting ceremony for the beautiful restroom facility uh, that you see uh, behind me, not only the restroom facility, but the uh, collective body of work uh, that you see all around you, the baseball field, the lighting, um, just a, a beautiful space that we've worked uh, very hard on. I want to thank our mayor, Daniel Rickman, our mayor pro tem, Councilman Ed McDowell, who represents District 2 and our entire council for their uh, obvious uh, support. Uh, I will also want to acknowledge our City Manager Teresa Wilson in her absence for her continued leadership and support for all of the parks and recreation initiatives. Uh, we are very proud of what we have collectively done here at All Star Field and we will continue to work to improve uh, the quality of life for this community uh, and across the city of Columbia as a whole. Uh, we feel strongly that providing these amenities in a safe environment allows families to come together, rest, relax, while their children enjoy the activities that these amenities provide. Um, this portion of the project would not be possible uh, without our partnership through the South Carolina Parks, Recreation and Tourism. Um, we were awarded a grant through their Parks and Recreation Development Fund to complete this portion uh, of the project. Uh, we are forever grateful for their ongoing support. Um, now at this time, I'm going to move out of the way. Uh, we will begin with remarks from our mayor, uh, Daniel Rickerman, provided uh, here in just, just a moment, followed by our mayor pro tem, uh, Councilman Ed McDowell. So help me welcome our mayor, Mayor Daniel Rickerman. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good morning, everybody. I'm excited to be here today. As you know, this is the beginning of multiple phases as we invest in this community and create collaborative partnerships, serve and connect our police department. Thank you all for being here. Uh, everyone from our police department, thank you for what y'all do in our community. Thank you for being part of what we're trying to do to improve communities here in Columbia. As you know, we're close to about $800,000 investment here, partnering to go after grants in every level so that we can continue to build up our community in every aspect. As we said and mentioned, this is phase one. You know, we're excited about being able to get forth hopefully starting soon as you'll start to see some of the clearing to go on so that we can start on our community center and our gymnasium here to really build up this side of the track as some people would like to say and improve the quality of life of all our folks here as we continue to work uh, to improve not only our housing but our investment in our infrastructure investing in our people and investing in our communities we we want columbia to be the number one city we want people to come here and ride through every district and when they look at our community they go i want to emulate that i want to be columbia south carolina so we're excited to be here today we're excited for this second phase but you're going to continue to see investment so you know hopefully we'll have about five more of these to celebrate as we move forward but thank you all for being here thank you, thank you. good morning good morning, good morning isn't it good that the, uh, the rain is not coming and someone asked me say we got a beautiful day today do you have inside information no what I do know is that we're here in this place just a little history and I do want to make one or two introductions I want to thank our mayor uh, we want to thank CTB, uh, CPD for being here today you all are constantly and always with us I want to thank our president, President uh, Regina Williams of the Book of Washington uh, Homeowners Association. Thank you so very, very much. I want to give you a little history initially. Almost eight years ago, I visited this field 
and there was nothing on this field, nothing, nothing. The residents came together, both residents out of North Point and the colony, and several other folk gathered in this field, surrounded me and said to me, we need something for our children. We need activities for our children that will continue to enhance their lives and the lives of the city. Now it's taken almost eight years for all of this to take place. It started with a dusty field. Nothing, nothing was there but just a field and dreams began to take place. It's almost like in to coin a phrase that was uh, made some years ago, this has become a field of dreams. Dreams are being actualized in this place. And the cutting of the ribbon of our bathroom facilities, of course, completes our project. Some would say that it's completed, but it's not because there are things we need to do here on the uh, west, on the South Bethlehem side and things on Leicester Drive. We've got a championship baseball. And somebody, I'll just clap your hands because it's not only going to enhance this community, but it enhances our city. Close to $800,000 has been invested in this facility. And for that, we are grateful. So we're glad you're here. We're glad some of our friends, some of our residents are here, is that right? Serving Cadet, glad you're here because uh, we're gonna be swinging some baseball and hopefully I can throw out the first pitch when the scheduling is done. I can't do it all the way, but I can throw it to the mid. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for continuing to invest in our children. And thank you so much for investing in our city. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mayor Rickerman. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem, Councilman McDowell for your uh, remarks. Uh, my job is to do some brief acknowledgments. Um, of course, again, we want to thank our mayor and Mayor Pro Tem that's with us today, but our entire council for their uh, continuous support of this project. Uh, we also want to acknowledge our Parks and Recreation Leadership Team led by Director uh, Randy Davis, our Deputy Director Kenya Bryant, who is with us today, Todd Martin. I think Todd is not here today. The, our project manager in Parks and Recreation, Taurus Lewis, our superintendent over athletics is here. And a special, special recognition to our Parks Division uh, through the leadership of Tom Beasley. They have been doing some amazing work with maintaining this field. As you know, we started this process several years ago and they made, maintained such a, a beautiful space and want to Acknowledge them, serve and connect. Of course, uh, Erica Staley, also Cassie, is not here today, but we want to acknowledge them for their support. Our Columbia Police Department, which is all around us, who have the ice cream truck uh, with us today. Thank you all for, for being here uh, as well. And as Councilman McDowell has already acknowledged, our Booker Washington Heights Neighborhood Association President, Miss Regina Williams, is with us on today. I omitted her the last time, that was my, my fault, but I want to make sure that we acknowledge her and her support from the community uh, as well. This is a great day. This is a great day for the city of Columbia. This is a great day for this community, and we are uh, grateful that you all are here today.